Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of CES 2020 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. High atop Central Hall in the Las Vegas Convention Center. I'm Michael Arts. This you're watching Be Terrific. Keep it locked here for all your live continuing coverage of CES 2020. We've got a lot of great stuff in store for you. Speaking of great stuff, I've got Arnie here from Demenco, and Arnie's got a really cool screen. It's 3D without any glasses or any other hardware that you have to wear, just the screen. That's correct, Michael. And then you have gesture control. Correct. So if you want to like move the, the object around or touch mm. the object or modify the object that is in front of you, looking at you in 3D, you can do that. Absolutely. So it's an amazing uh, visualization tool, basically. It's a desktop machine with a 32-inch 8K display. Uh, what it does is that uh, it allows the viewer to interact with 3D objects in a virtual environment without any wearables. Now, I've seen kind of this idea in the past. It's mm -hmm. never been good. A lot of people have tried this Pepper's Ghost idea. Mm -hmm. Also never been good. It gives me a headache. It never looks right. Uh, I, I, it's like, why am I bothering? I'm doing a lot of effort with my brain and my eyes. Mm -hmm. And it hurts just to... I have this little party trick, but yours looks smooth, it looked nice, it looks really, really good, and That's then nice. you can use these gesture controls and interact, which you couldn't do with any of these other uh, solutions you've seen for 30 years. Like, like you say, 10 years ago, those displays did give you a headache. Yeah. Uh, the, the technology increased immensely. It was, it, it's, it's, it's perfect now. It's an 8K resolution display. And uh, what it gives you in the end is that you get a 4K resolution per eye, which is an unmatched technology yeah. advantage that we didn't see before. I, I, I think it's phenomenal. How did you get into doing this? Well, my company, Nimenco, is a spin-off from Philips, and we took the technology that they developed 10 years ago, and we continued developing on it, and we saw that it, in the end, um, allows the user to uh, look around an object in a, in a, in a parallax way, in, a, in this light, uh, light field display, and take the, this data of, the, of the, the, the user, combine it with the eye tracking and the hand tracking, and allows the user to interact in real time with these objects. How were you able to do this when nobody else was able to do it? So, we have the IPA, of course. We, uh, we, we invented this, and uh, we had a dedicated team of super smart people who, who just spent all the time on this. How long did it take? The machine that we have today, that we showcase here on multiple locations at CES 2020, took took two years to uh, to develop. To what's it cost? It's an enterprise level device, so it more <laughs> you can think about a ballpark estimation of 20k. Um, okay, that's not terrible. It includes shipping. Do you think it's going to be for retail, for display, for um, you know, wh wh where do you see the application? Oh yeah, what, I mean it, it's. I get it. It's fun. I can, you know, you showed me a Nike sneaker. It looks like it's in a white box. It was a Jordan. I think it was a Jordan one. Correct. I, I could move the sneaker around. What happens after that? I mean, what 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 else could I use it for? Well, you have several layers of, no. of of ways you can use it. The first one is just the visualization tool. So if you're an architect, you can showcase your 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 design, your 3D design to a client in a way that was never possible before. You can really without the the the, the headware or wearables or any other. There's nothing in the way of just you and the technology. Thank you for that. I don't really want to wear anything on my face or head. Neither do I. And many people don't line up again. Except for hair. I'd like to wear hair on my head. <laughs> you look fine as you are. No <laughs> Thank worries. Thank you no very worries. much. But um, it's just it's, it's, it's just an, an incredible benefit of, of just uh, you and the technology. And there's nothing in between. And there's nothing you have to learn to master to to any gestures. It's just a natural way of interacting. I think it's pretty cool. And I, I, I think maybe you know it works for retail. It works gaming. for uh, yeah. gaming. Uh, it, it works for a lot of different applications. Maybe even medical to be able to spin something around. Or if you're not able to be at the location, you could have a live feed. Absolutely. Uh, you know, something like that. How like do, you, a, um, do you have to shoot the content differently? The content is is based on uh, on game engine. So yeah. if you have Unity and Unreal, the, the 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 device that we sell, the development kit, comes with an SDK. So any 3D object that you have, it just you can use it right away on this machine. There's can you do no it? Can you stream live to the screen? Is it absolutely, possible? Absolutely. Yeah. Really? So uh, if you 5G or Wi-Fi or anything, sure. it's it, it's uh, it's all like, for a lot of I like of how you immediately went to 5G. I mean, if you could you know get 5G, then it would be good. 5G is 5G uh, is is more than just a buzzword. It is really 
it, it will it's it will pretty change amazing. I've got a 5G exactly. uh, hotspot. Woo! That thing burns up speed. Exactly. I go through my uh, my macaroni minutes. I, I literally I went through my bandwidth in two days. I believe you. I yeah. believe you. But it's it's a lot of processing power that's in the machine right. to to make this uh, happen in without any lag or 60 frames per second. Where do so people find out more? On the manco.au, okay. and of course, and uh, just Google us. We are everywhere. Are you having a great show so far? So far, it's amazing. Yes. How'd Very you get into people. tech? How'd you? How'd you? You know, you probably played with things as a kid, took things apart. How'd you get into it? I was always it was a hobby. Always interested in it. I was always in, in 2013. I was totally into VR. And I see what's happening in AR, and the excitement that I got in in those days. Yeah. I, I we found again in this technology that we're working today, and it's it's an amazing experience. What do you think of VR now? I mean, Samsung underneath us, they used to have this space filled with VR headsets and rides and all sorts of cool things. It seems like they've abandoned VR. Notebooks are the next big thing for them. They're mm. going to try and bring the notebook back and compete against Apple and and uh, Microsoft with the service. And everybody I see, like every VR is cool for five seconds, but who wants to wear that damn headset forever? I, we we I, shot a, a basketball game in VR. I, yeah. I, you know, everybody puts it on, their mind's blown, but th nobody wants to wear it for more than three minutes. You don't want to watch a whole basketball exactly. game. Exactly. Like I, I, I have an opinion about VR, but it's also just what I see around me is that. Yeah. People don't line up again uh, anymore for VR. It's, right. it's. Uh, it, I don't say that it misses momentum, but it never found its killer application. That is correct. It never found its killer application, and AR is kind of in that space too. It's, it, but AR could survive a little bit longer. AR, uh, I, be, I, AR yeah, could be I, interesting I, development. Exactly. Still, still yeah. yeah, and because you don't have to wear that headset. I would love to have a pair of like regular glasses with a heads-up display. I think mm -hmm. that would be amazing. I could get like show notes and and all sorts of things in my glasses. True. They kind of the Google Glass idea, but that didn't work. But I, I would true. Love there, that, but yeah. there, there, I'm sure there will be a place for AR in the near future. But absolutely, like I say, without any wearables, just just you and the display and and the I love it. It's it's just an uh, an easy, no learning curve way of interacting with your display. It's amazing. Great. Congratulations. Thank you, Michael. Thanks for coming on. My pleasure. You guys are the Terrifics. You make me terrific special. You make this uh, more than worth doing. Doing here at CES 2020 at Be Terrific TV on all social media. Check out beterrific.tech to find out about our flexible, daylight bright, water resistant, unbelievable, lightweight, easy to install, agility line of LED panels. They're flexible and water resistant. These are the quadricep behind us. And well, you can judge for yourself. I think they look pretty cool on camera. We'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere.